Conscious Endeavors number 62. Pay attention to your mirrored reflection in your relationship. A lot of times, it's the person reflecting back to you what you are, okay? Don't make the mistake. We have to take ourselves at times when we don't want to. So take a look at the mirror, what the mirror is showing you, okay? What is your partner showing you that you have to work on? Pay attention to that reflection. Sometimes it's really hard, especially when you're upset, to talk about it right away. Sometimes it's hard to talk about things at all. But communication is really important. That's something that I suffer with in my life. And it's good to talk about things and how you feel so the other person is mindful and can maybe offer a little bit more uh, compassion the next time. So. Pay attention to the mirrored reflection in your relationship because you can see how you can heal yourself according to what you see in your reflection, okay? <clears throat> Give an example of anger. Anger is depression revisited. When a person gets angry, the foundation is fear. When a person is controlling, the foundation is fear. Okay? It's always fear. So, how do you heal that? Well, the person has to heal it themselves. You can't do anything. They have to do it themselves. But you know maybe what not to bring up next time or how to tiptoe around a situation if you need to. Or you can explain to them how to heal it. Go into your meditation and feel the trauma, feel the pain. You release it in your meditation. Feel the pain, feel the trauma. You have to sit in your trauma in order to heal it. There's no, it's not about drugs, it's not about alcohol, it's not about numbing pain, it's not about anything like that. You can see what you can heal through the mirrored reflection that you see in your partner. Okay? If the person is very controlling, it might mean because there's a fear there, because man is fear of the unknown maybe, they don't know how to do things a certain way and it's got to go according to that particular way. Okay. I don't know, there's several different reasons why people have a fear. You just have to learn how to deal with the fear. Fear is an illusion, false evidence appearing real, you know. <clears throat> Shout out to whoever created that acronym, false evidence appearing real. I've heard it many, many times. That's what it is. Fear is just an illusion, okay? A lot of times fear is just an illusion. Just pay attention to what emotion is coming up so you know what to heal. It's like we said before, as far as healing in, uh, in the relationship um, or even by yourself. If you have a trauma that you got to heal, you got to feel it. You got to go through it. You got to feel it. You have to sit in it. You have to be brave. You have to be courageous. Instead of running to get drunk the next time you get upset, the next time you have a bad day, just sit in a dark room by yourself, close your eyes, and feel the pain. Feel the sensations all over your body and scan your body from the top of your head to your toes to your extremities, your fingertips. Scan your body. This is called Vipassana meditation. Sit in your meditation and feel every emotion that's going through you. Feel the pain. Feel the bliss, the happiness. And just sit in peace. You don't need alcohol to numb it. You don't need drugs to numb it. 
if you're using substances to escape and if you're using alcohol to escape, that's what you're doing. You're numbing pain. You're numbing trauma that needs to be healed. Same thing in relationships. In the relationships, through seeing the mirrored reflections, lots of trauma comes up. So you have to be brave in order to want to be in a relationship with somebody because you're attracting the mirrored reflection of yourself. So you have to be able to deal with yourself. And if you can't deal with yourself, then you got problems. You, you know what you need to work on through your mirrored reflection. You're going to see it back at you. You're going to see that mirrored reflection bounce back at you. So you're going to know what you need to work on. Conscious endeavors.